So you didn't actually sleep at the facility, did you? We heard you might have had a cot here. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, my wife wouldn't have been too happy about that, but uh, we did put in a lot of hours here, and uh, obviously, you know, I want to get back out here and uh, help the team. How do you feel? Good, good. It's coming along real well. Um, um, you know, it's just getting started back practicing, so I just got to ease in and, um, you know, just let it let, let my knee get back to feeling feeling used to the football. But uh, everything so far, everything's going great. Um, um, I feel stronger than I've been in a long time just from putting in all those hours, and um, I feel good. How grueling was the, the return? Because you, you, know, you went through that, you had to miss three weeks after dislocating your elbow, you come right back, and then you get hurt right away. And I'm sure that had to be heartbreaking. So just how tough was that to come back? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, it sucks. Yeah, you know, finally get back, think I'm going to be um, ready to ready to go and then sit down and have the patella pop open. So uh, not fun, but, um, you know, it's part of the game you play. You know, this stuff happens, and it's, uh, I think, really what defines you is, you know, what you do when something happens like this. You know, do you, do you let it end your career, or do you come back and work work your ass off and, and uh, turn it into a positive and uh, growing experience? Yeah, did you think you um, I mean, as again, I don't want to put any numbers on it or timeline, but it's I'm, I'm working towards that. That's my goal. Um, but again, I've just started getting back to practice and uh, just have to see how it goes. Did you think you could get back to practice this quickly? Um, you know, it was a goal the whole time. You know, I wasn't sure how it would go. Um, I know the Dr. Elitraj, who did my knee, he's, he's really happy with how everything's going and he's been uh, He's been surprised with how well it's um, it's come back. I need how well my patella's um, recovered, and um, you know I'm really happy where I where I am. And uh, from all the help the training room's done, it's been it's been first class, and uh, we've been they've been very on top of uh, my rehab and getting everything pushed in the right direction. What, what kind of time frame did they give you when you did the first time? Um, they didn't. Really, it's kind of one of those fidgety ones where they don't don't really put a timeline on it right away. I would say it's more of in the I mean, just as an injury, it's more in the ACL type of type of time range, maybe even a little bit longer. Just, um, it just again, it just depends, you know, being an offensive lineman compared to the running back. You know, it's a bigger body, so it's just uh, really just how it goes. You know, how, do I get much swelling? You know, how, how does it react once I get playing football again? Can you talk to other guys, Jack, who had gone through that injury? If so, how did that go? Um, a little bit, a little bit. Um, you know, I. I tore my left ACL, so I kind of knew the process, and I um, and I think you know obviously you wouldn't want it to happen again with the other knee, but uh, it actually was uh, very helpful. I knew what I knew what the process was. I wasn't going into it dark. It wasn't some um, idea of where you know 20 years ago where you think your career is over. Even the first time you do it, the last time when I did my left knee was the first surgery I'd ever had in my life, and it was kind of like oh, I don't know what, what's going to happen from here. So going into this one, there was no doubt that I was going to come back and be and be able to get through this and. And um, know the process and be able to dominate the process. Um, it's just different. I mean, it's just a different. I, w I wouldn't say any better or worse. Jack, I know it's only been a day, but is there something that you think you have to work on more? Just missing the time coming back is it a footwork thing, or do you think you can just jump right back in and you feel pretty good? Um, I think definitely you got to get back into the football shape, the understanding a little bit. Get, I mean, especially with. You know the injury. You just gotta. You have to test it. So I definitely have to get back in and get the feet going and stuff. But uh, you know we've been doing that, and that's what we're starting to do now. And but um, definitely, I think big big thing I've taken into this off season and this OTAs and now camp is really just trying to get more on a uh, a grasp of an understanding of the entire offense, more so than just what my position is. You know the the ins and outs of the entire offense. So just to be able to have more of a football IQ going into this season. That's the toughest part of it. Oh, it's right. I'm not going to get carted off. You never, you know, football. You never know when it's going to be your last play, and I'm not going to be the one who gets carted off. I'm going to walk off on my own, no matter what it is. And when, it, how did the injury occur? Remember exactly? Um, I was just sitting down in the bull rush, and it just popped. It popped. It just, uh, um, honestly, what they found behind it was there was a bone spur that they, nobody knew is that it was back there, you know, from anything. And it was just one of those things where as it grew, um, the bone spur is what tore off and popped the, and tore the patella. What was the toughest part of rehab? Um, I think it's just how slowly it feels. You know, day to day you're doing the same stuff over and over again and you don't necessarily feel it, drastic changes. So it's really just being able to keep your mindset in that, Three months from now, there is going to be the draft. Every day, it's you got to go into the same mindset. You got to go hard in it and everything. And that it, it doesn't feel like there's much changing, but the more time and more stuff you put in is is, is going to be the change. And I think that's the hardest part with these situations for 
most athletes is, you know, when you're putting in work in the weight room, you immediately start to see change. You start to see your waist go up. And with something like this, it's very, very gradual. And it's just got to be able to keep your, your nose at the grindstone and keep, keep rolling. You need, and you said you knew you were going to dominate the rehab, but was there any time where that was a question mark, that if you'd be able to come back from this no. if you try to play again? No, no. And there was no doubt in my mind about it. It was just... Um, after going through before, I knew I, could, I knew what I had to do, and I knew that I could be back. Well, you need to play lighter, Jack. Is there anything you need to do in terms of like keeping your weight down to keep no, no, I don't, off the joints or anything like that. I don't or? think I don't think so. Um, you know, I played at college pretty heavy, and I that was too heavy for me, honestly. And I think I, I realized that a couple of years into the league, and you know, my weight's anywhere between 305, 310. That's where I want to be, and, and that's where I that's where I feel good at playing, no matter what. You uh, restructured this off season. Just your thoughts behind doing that, and you know, what led to that. I mean, it was just it was good for the team and me. You know, at that point in the process. Um, they didn't know how fast I was going to come back or when I'd be able to, and um, they wanted to have, be able to have flexibility to uh, bring somebody in that needed to bridge the gap. And um, luckily, where we're at now, you know, it's looking good. So, but they, it was. They, uh, they gave you more guaranteed money in that deal. Did that feel like a vote of confidence? Yes, definitely, definitely. That was huge. And uh, you know, it, AB and the organization has my back, and uh, you know, it's my job to get back and be here for them too. Well, this is after. Was kind of limited on extra people to bring in, kind of what you were able to do in terms of the training and stuff like that, but. This season's a little bit more open without the COVID protocols. Do you think that's helped you at all in this rehab process? Have you been able to utilize any of that, or is it all kind of external stuff? Um, I think it's pretty external. I mean, I, I wasn't going through as much of an injury during that period, so I don't really know exactly how that was handled as much. So um, for me, you know, it was I was here every day, and I, I mean, it was the off season. There was nobody really here but me, so <laughs> it wouldn't have been a problem either way, I guess. But. Yeah, it's a nice other topic, Jack. This is your third year under Bill Callahan. Just give me your thoughts about that. No, it's been awesome to have Bill. I mean, that was, I mean, being able to come here and have him as a, as a teacher um, has just made my game taken to the next level. I think just every he's he's been around the game for so long. He he's such a craftsman and how he breaks everything down. And there's literally I can say every day there's something new that I can I pick up from him. And um, I just think he, the cohesion he also brings to the room. He so he always sometimes he's kind of a kind of a wizard with that. You don't really. <laughs> He gets us angry at him, and I think it's, sometimes it's on purpose to bring us all together. And it's kind of, uh, it's just everything. He's always thinking, and it, it's great to have him, and I'm happy. Um, I would say he's more of a technician than any coach I've had. He definitely has broken down more um, techniques and stuff than, than any, definitely than any coach I've ever, offensive line coach I've ever had. What did you say you, you, know, you were in Cleveland all offseason? Did you get out of Cleveland at all, or were you literally here? <laughs> I had a couple, uh, I think I had. I had two weeks off, okay. and one week uh, here and there yeah, and how, that for the time. How does that compare to like a normal offseason? Um, I mean, I used to go out and train different places, but now, um, now I'm, I'm here. I mean, my kids are starting to get into the age where they're going to be in school, and Cleveland's where we want to make home. And um, and having this facility and having Bill here and stuff, there's really there's no really no reason for me to go anywhere else. When you say make it home, this is the last year of that deal, though. Have you thought about? Wanting to stay here beyond. I mean, obviously, I would, I would love to stay here. I would, this is the team. I love the team. I love the town. And um, you know, it really just comes down to me. It comes down to how I come back from this, and it's in my hands of the, what happens with that. Thoughts on the quarterback situation? No, I mean, I don't think any of us are really thinking about it. We're we're in camp. I mean, we're we're trying to figure out our stuff right now, and it's uh, we're getting back into football, and it's all in our offensive line room. It's it's all offensive line. We're trying to get our stuff right, so no matter who's back there, we can we can hold up and uh, and protect them. You said uh, you felt the, the knee felt stronger, um, and when I talked to Coach Kelly, he said the same thing. Guys coming back from this kind of injury, um, why is it? Just because you spend so much time building well, strength? That especially well, and um, because of that bone spur, I'd, I've had I'd had a lot of pain some issues and stuff and they didn't they could never understand really why and actually with having that pop out be able to take it out um they think that's a big reason um that'll help going forward without having any any of that pain even with having to fix it and stuff and but again like you said with just how much quad strengthening and stuff we do throughout this process i'm just i'm able to squat more deadlift more than i have in probably since college so, so when you missed time early in the year last year was that do you attribute that to the bone spur that you didn't know well 
I mean, not with Diablo, but the knee. You do you have a knee like? Yeah, for yeah. One game? I think I think that was probably the start of what was going to happen. So okay. you didn't know for sure it was a bone spur until they went. In for we had no surgery. idea. There's no idea. There's nothing showed up in any scans. But once they once they did the surgery, they were able to diagnose that. Um, you spent your support system that you know you've leaned on is somebody kind of helped you through this process oh i think really my wife i mean she was we were married when i did my acl and she saw how that was brutal that was brutal for me because i'd never like i said never had a surgery and was down quite a bit and she was really just my uh my rock there just telling me hey you've been through this you know how to how to come back for this and you've done it before you can do it again joe thomas uh, a more a future in coaching or what <laughs> I, I think he definitely could if he wants to i mean he, he He's got all the techniques, and he has a very good way of uh, explaining it too. So I think if he wanted to, he, he definitely, definitely could. What's it mean to you guys that you know he takes his time to come out? And no, it's it's, it's awesome. I mean, to have a legend right here that is willing to, like you said, take his time out of his day to come out and show us a few tips here and there. I mean, we we try to soak that stuff in. I mean, as an offensive line, it's all about listening and being able to take take lessons and take even just a little bit of something here and there to help your of your set or your run game. And uh, it's awesome to have Joe and be able to, he, it's awesome he's able to come out here and, and uh, talk to us.